Welcome back to another set to close training video. I'm Ryan and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to add uh, calls, notes and emails, really activity to our HubSpot records, whether it's a contact company or deal. So uh, first and foremost, I'm just going to click on a contact here. And when you come to your records, you're going to see uh, in the center an overview and activities tab. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit activities and you're going to see a few different options. So um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click through the different options here to be able to see what you're able to do within your activities. And under this main activity tab, you're able to filter for the activities, whether it's calls, notes, emails, uh, meetings, really anything you're looking for, you can choose what's visible. So everybody can kind of customize their view and you can even see based off of if you have multiple people in your system, potentially uh, working a deal, you have uh, you know a sales engineer, you have an A and there's an SDR. Uh, we can look at the different people's interactions by just filtering down to what we want to look at. Um, so again, back to creating these notes, tasks, emails, calls, uh, what you're going to want to do is click to the appropriate tab of what you want to execute and you're going to click on the create a note it's going to pop up and you are going to be able to log that information um, and so within this note i'm able to do a few things i can one just make a note uh, out i can also tag somebody so if i wanted to add someone from our organization so they got notified about this note um, i can tag them by doing the at symbol and then logging that as well, if I want to associate this with multiple records, so say there I want to associate with Brian, who is in our system, and maybe he is not associated with his company contacts, but I see he's there, I can add it to his information and associate it with his note. So it will not only show up on Ryan Cooper's note, but it will show up on Brian Halligan's note if I hit this association. So what this does is this removes the need to write notes and duplicate notes across multiple records and allows you to do it from one singular place doing it once, which we love. We love to automate and simplify and streamline process. So if I wanted to add Brian, you could see that saved there. I'm going to hit save note. So now that this note tagging Jordan is now associated back to not only Brian, uh, but myself here, and it will live in both records. Similarly, what we can do with emails is we can go ahead and do emails in a couple ways. One, we can log an email directly from here and say what happened, just talk about the activity. That's one way to do something. Honestly, not efficient and, and what we not what we teach here at Set to Close. We would like for you to integrate your email, be able to email directly out of your Gmail, your Outlook, um, even out of HubSpot. And so how we do that is by creating an email, once your email is gonna be hooked up and you can send an email directly from here. You're able to, um, hook up your templates, your meeting notes, um, your meeting links, anything that you need to send in an email, it'll be at your fingertips. You'll have your documentation in here as well. Um, an ability to insert quotes, really anything to make it simple like you would within your G Suite or within your Outlook that you're using to mail uh, email customers. And all these features are not only available to you within HubSpot, but also within your email. Moving on to how we log calls, uh, one, you can make a phone call directly out of HubSpot and we honestly rec recommend that using your calling tool, using your phone number through HubSpot to log that record just so it'll auto record for you. Um, it'll auto record not only the, the conversation, but it'll auto record the, the note and it will save it automatically for you. So you're not having to do that extra reporting. So we would say to recommend to have your integrated phone system with HubSpot. Um, in the off chance that you don't potentially get there and, and you would like to just log a call, maybe you didn't have an ability to call through HubSpot, someone caught you on the mobile. What you're able to do is come in here, you're able to write who was associated on this log call, you're able to set the outcome, you're able to set the direction of it, so maybe it's an outbound call, I'm able to write any notes here. And then the last bit is I'm able to set a task automatically here Quick and easy uh, for what I need to do my follow-ups. Maybe it's a call, maybe it's an email, uh, maybe it's just an action for me to do. Um, but I'm going to do a follow-up call and I can write some notes. Uh, and what happens once I log, it's going to add it here. What that's going to look like as I click back to the activity record, you'll see all the things that I'm doing in chronological order 
and what has happened. And because I set a task to set up after I've logged that call, you're gonna see an upcoming task here for me that if I hit the drop down, will tell me all the information I need to know about logging uh, this next task and completing the task as well. You're gonna follow the same instructions for creating a task. You're also going to be able to set that in here. So any information, documents you want associated, you can link information to it, attach images, um, really anything. Uh, we like to have these pointed in regard to the action. So making sure if it is a call, we have it logged, labeled as a call, an email, a to do, um, but being pretty diligent about that reporting. You'll see why in later as we talk in with different videos about the importance of reporting, but that's how we'd set that up. And then lastly, we can either create meetings to send meeting links out of HubSpot through this tool, um, or you can log a meeting. So again, if you're doing an in-person meeting, potentially it was a, a virtual meeting that we see quite often, um, you're able to come back in here, talk about what happened, put in your notes, and then again, create a task uh, for you to follow up and be able to um, not only just log your meeting, but execute that task option uh, without having to take those extra steps. So logging that meeting in here will look like that. And then again, you will see all that information funnel back here uh, within the acti activity section within the center of your HubSpot record. And this is gonna be the same across your deals, your companies, your contacts. Anytime you're working within a record within HubSpot, this is how you are going to update those pieces. Uh, that's it for this video. I just wanna say thank you uh, all for so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching and keep removing those revenue roadblocks. If you want more videos like this, follow our channel for fresh new content every day. Check out our RevOps playlist or how about this video chosen just for you. See you next time.